Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 20, verses 27 to 40. What about the Sadducees? Who are the Sadducees? Before I get into this, I want to tell you something that I know many of you don't know this. But the Sadducees were a, a sect or a group of religious people back in Jesus' day that believed only in the Torah. They didn't believe in the prophets. They didn't believe in the so-called ketavim, the writings, the scriptures. They only believed in the Torah. And the, their way of thinking was this. You see, the Torah, that would be the books of Moshe, the books of Moses, were canonized, so to speak, okay? Even though there wasn't, you know, necessarily a canonization process, you know, uh, formally, but they were formally canonized. In other words, they were accepted as authentic scripture right from the get-go, right from day one. How? Someone might ask. Well, when the Torah was given, uh, when the books of Moses were written, the whole entire nation of Israel, all of the children of Israel witnessed what was what was uh, what was happening, okay? They heard the voice of God. They saw the miracles. They were eyewitnesses. They were all, like everything in the book of Moses, based in the books of Moses, basically, everything in the Torah was public, okay? In fact, at one at one point in time, uh, it says the voice of God was so fearsome and so strong, so awesome, so powerful, that people said to Moses, Moses, listen, you go and talk to God just, just between you and God, okay? We can't bear to hear the voice of God anymore. It's just too much for us. You go and you hear his voice. You come back and you tell, tell us what he said because we, don't, we, can't hear, we can't bear this power. So the Torah, as in the books of Moses, was canonized, so to speak, instantly. So the Torah in the days of Jesus was considered to be the, more or less, the Bible of that day, okay? The, the prophets, the books of the prophets and the books of uh, the so-called writings or scriptures, the Ketavim, which would be like stuff like Esther, Psalms, Proverbs, this kind of stuff, According to Oxford University Press, it was not even canonized until like 200 years AD. Okay, it wasn't even canonized, officially canonized, officially included in canon uh, until long after Jesus' death. So the Sadducees, their point of view was only what is written in the Bible, the Torah. Only that is what we believe. We don't go by the prophets. We don't go by the, the, the Ketavim. They were not considered to be canonized in the same way as the Torah was. They were not considered to be instantly canonized. There was a, you know, it took a long time, let's say, for example, after Isaiah, for it to be actually officially recognized as authentic, you know, in, in, irrefutable scripture. Uh, whereas uh, the, the Torah was instantly considered to be authentic, irrefutable, irrefutable scripture, as the whole nation of the children of Israel uh, witnessed that. One good example of the way that the Sadducees looked at the Torah versus the prophets, uh, you can say it this way. You look at Numbers, uh, I believe it's chapter 12, Moses' brother and sister, Aaron and Miriam, uh, Aharon and Miriam, uh, basically said among themselves one day, hey, you know what? Look at Moses here. If God can use Moses, he can use anybody. I mean, look at Moses. He can't even talk right. I mean, he's, look at this. Look at this guy. He's like, you know, it says, it says there that Moses was the most humble man in all the earth. Can you imagine being called the most humble man in all the earth? Can you just, just imagine that for a second? So Miriam and Aharon, uh, Miriam and, and Aaron looked at Moses and was like, well, you know, he's our brother, you know, you know, look at the guy can't even talk properly. You know, he's, if God can use someone like this, he can use anybody. He can use us. You know, has not the Lord spoken through our mouths as well? You know, he, the Lord spoke through Moses' mouth. Uh, how much more, you know, God can speak through our mouths. Has not, hasn't God used us as well? And so God was infuriated with that 
attitude. It says he came down in, in, a, in a cloud of glory and rebuked Miriam very harshly and, 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 and Aaron as well, saying, listen, Moses is a man who's a man that is no, unlike any other man. He's, he is the most humble in all the earth. I speak to him face to face, not in dark sayings or not, not in dreams or, or in you know, riddles, but I speak to him face to face. This is not like the other prophets. The other prophets, I did speak to them in riddles and dark sayings and, you know, in, in dreams and visions that were not clear. But with Moses, I spoke to him clearly face to face. And so Moses and the fruit of Moses or the books of Moses were considered to be the most authoritative of all of the books, of all of the scripture. Because of that, because God spoke to Moses face to face, clearly, without parables or without uh, visions and dreams and riddles. Uh, so he, Moses had more authority than the prophets. So the Sadducees accepted the Torah but did not accept the prophets. Okay, They were just like Torah-only people. Torah only people. Whereas the Pharisees, they were Torah plus prophets, you know, plus the Ketuvim, the the like Book of Psalms and Esther and you know this kind of stuff. Plus, you know, the oral law, plus, you know, all this other stuff. That's what the Pharisees were like. Whereas the Sadducees were only just strictly Torah. If we don't see it in Torah, then we're not going to accept it. Okay? So this you gotta understand that in order to fully get uh, what this story is all about. So let's start reading this, chapter 20, verse 27. Some of the Sadducees came to him, those who deny there is a resurrection. So this is the reason why the Sadducees denied that there was a resurrection, because they only believed in what they saw, what they understood from the Torah. If they didn't see it specifically, clearly, you know, laid out in the Torah, then they didn't believe it. So they didn't really see the resurrection per se, the resurrection of the dead on the last day um, in the Torah. They didn't see that in the Torah. So they didn't accept that as fact or truth. Okay. A lot, a lot like, a, you know, a lot of Christians are today. You know, it's like, if it's not in the Bible, they don't believe it. But, you know, again, the question is, what Bible are you talking about? I'm not talking about versions. I'm talking about canons. You know, there are many different canons of the Bible, uh, let alone the versions. I'm not talking about versions. But that's another to uh, totally different subject. Verse 27, some of the Sadducees came to him, those who deny there is a resurrection. So that's the reason why the Sadducees did not believe in the resurrection, because they didn't see it in the Torah. Now that would be, you know, specifically talking about the resurrection of the dead on the last day. Verse 28, they asked him, teacher, a rabbi, Moses wrote to us, okay, again, you, you understand the, the Sadducees only quote Moses. Moses wrote to us that if a man's brother dies having a wife and he is childless, his brother should take the wife and raise up children for his brother. There were therefore seven brothers. The first took a wife and died childless. The second took her as wife. And he died childless. The third took her, and likewise, the, the seven all left no children and died. Afterward, the woman also died. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of them will she be? For the seven had her as wife. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy to attain for that age and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. For they can't die anymore. They, for they are like the angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he called the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. That's Exodus 3 verse 6. Now he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all are alive to him. Some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you speak well. They didn't dare ask him any more questions. So I want you to take notice of this. The Sadducees only 
believed in the Torah. They didn't believe in anything else. That's why they quoted the Torah to Jesus. That's why they didn't believe in the resurrection of the last day, because they didn't see that in the Torah. So they asked him, you know, if the resurrection in the, of the last day is true, or if it's true, um, then whose wife will, uh, will this woman be since she married all seven brothers? You know, they died. One, one married her and died. Another one married her, died. Another married her, died. So if, help us to understand here, Jesus. If the resurrection in the last day is true, then whose wife will she be? So then Jesus said, basically, listen, you don't know what you're talking about because at the resurrection of the last day, you won't be married or be given in marriage. You'll be like the angels of God. And then he said uh, in verse 37, but that, but, uh, but that the dead are raised, even Moshe, Moses, showed at the bush when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now, uh, Jesus said, now he is now he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all are alive to him. So what Jesus was doing here, this is what a lot of people don't understand. What Jesus was doing is that he was proving to the Sadducees that there is a resurrection. And how did he do it? He used the Torah. He used the same thing, the same, he basically played the game of the Sadducees using their own rules. He didn't say it this way, but by his actions, he's like, well, you know, you believe only in the Torah, do you? Okay, well, I'm going to prove it to you from the Torah. Even Moses believed in the resurrection because Moses called the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Because God is not the God of the dead, but he's God of the living. So they were raised. They are resurrected. Okay? Very, very powerful. Very, very interesting point. So again, as you go your way, may God bless you and enlighten the eyes of your understanding as you seek him more and you seek him persistently and you seek him with all your heart, soul, mind and strength and you call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Thanks again. Blessings.